As you can probably tell, as we move forward, things are getting more and more complex. We need to add one more complexity at this point and talk about types of independent variables. Recall that we have a factorial analysis of variance. Well, when you have these factors, in addition to having the number of factors and whether those factors are between or within factors, another important characteristic arises. Are those factors fixed or random? The fixed factor is what we've been looking at so far. The researcher selects the levels of interest. A fixed factor is one in which the researcher selects the levels of interest. In our pedometer example, the researcher identified four specific interventions that they wanted to test. Recall, pedometers only, pedometers and support in three different ways. Those are fixed factors. The researcher chose to look at those specific factors. For a random factor, the levels are selected at random from all possibilities. These are rather rare, but could include such things as altitude, classrooms, age, schools, districts, states, even countries. Random variables or random factors are less likely seen in human performance research. Some important concepts include, for fixed factors, the researcher can only generalize to those specific levels of the independent variable that were chosen. In the random factor, trends in the data may be applied across the spectrum of all possible levels. For example, if age was the random variable and 6-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 14-year-olds, and 93-year-olds were selected at random, then any trends that were found could be applied from 6 to 93. A few SPSS steps to keep in mind when you get into more involved designs with between, within, random, and fixed variables. Be sure and place the correct factors in the appropriate fixed and random windows. All the other SPSS commands essentially remain the same. Importantly, there are no post hoc procedures available for random factors. So the summary of this is that many combinations can occur with between, within, fixed, and random factors, especially as the number of factors increases. Importantly, there are different F ratios, as illustrated in the text, based upon expected mean squares. There are different F ratios that are available depending upon what the nature of the independent variables is. If you enter in the variables appropriately, SPSS will determine the appropriate F ratio for the ANOVA source table. Notice here we've presented the SPSS window where you enter fixed or random factors.